Hello and welcome to another lesson. Now today I thought I'd do another integration by substitution question. So I have this question here, it's the integral of x over root x minus 1, and obviously that's with respect to x. Now the substitution I'm going to make here is to say let u equal x minus 1. Now I can rearrange this to get that x is equal to u plus 1. I can now differentiate u, so du by dx, well that's just 1. And obviously that implies that dx is equal to du. And now that I have those, I can substitute those back into this original integral. Well, we have x. Well, we know that x is equal to u plus 1. So I'll put that in. So we've got the integral of u plus 1. And that's all over the square root of x minus 1. Well, x minus 1 is now u. So that's root u. And obviously the dx, well, dx is equal to du. So that's du. Now I can rearrange this a little bit. So we've still got the integral of u plus 1. Now the square root of u is u to the power of half. And because it's in the denominator, when I bring it to the numerator, it would be u to the negative a half. And that's with respect to u. I can now expand this bracket. So I've got u to the power of 1 multiplied by u to the power of negative a half. So I have u to the power of a half. Plus, obviously that's going to be u to the negative a half. And that is with respect to u. Now I can go ahead and do the integral. So u to the power of a half would be u to the power of 3 over 2. And obviously that would be divided by 3 over 2. But when I'm dividing by 3 over 2, that's the same as multiplying by 2 over 3. So 2 over 3. When I integrate u to the negative a half, I would get u to the power of a half. And obviously I'm dividing by a half, which again is the same as multiplying by 2. And then I have the constant of integration. Now the only thing left to do is to substitute back in for u. And if you recall, u is x minus 1. So let's substitute that back in. So we have equals, we've got 2, x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. And that's all over 3. Plus 2, x minus 1 to the power of a half plus the constant of integration. If you found this video useful then remember to give me a quick thumbs up and if you would like to be notified when I release new videos then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.